Coach Carrero in number 400, and no better time to get it than in the postseason. Congratulations. Thoughts on the way the kids played here tonight? Well, I really appreciate that, Pete. I, yeah, I thought our guys really fought hard. This is a, really a, a rock em, sock em kind of game. You know, they're a big, physical, strong team, and we had to keep them off the glass. I thought we did a decent job second half, keep them off the glass. Made enough plays. Benini was really good again tonight. I thought Kehoe was really good in the post. Drape was pretty good. So, you know, that was a whole team effort. Like, we just made plays. Guys just believe in themselves, and we're just – we're, 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 we're moving along, so Coach, it's fun to see. Coach, my congrats on your 400. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of losses in that thing. <laughs> it's now. okay. You still got to do it a long time to get the 400, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I look that way. <laughs> well, hey, I just want to mention Aiden Keogh, and, yeah. and, and I know you haven't looked at the stat sheet yet, and you're going up to Boston University. You know, Keogh did not play in any of the BU games, really. So, you know, talk about just – him coming in and doing what he's doing and what that can mean in your next game on Thursday. Well, yeah, I think, you know, he's he's a, it's a presence down there, and, and uh, Aiden's really done a nice job the last, you know, several weeks. Him and I had a come to Jesus meeting a while back, and he's really responded. He's really responded and given his team everything he has, and, um, you know, it was important for us tonight to have him in there. He blocks shots. He's, he's big, you know, he, he, he takes up some space. He plays good post defense. And he just scores enough around the basket. So Aiden's really, really important for us. And I hope, you know, continue his growth and uh, his maturation. It'll be really important as we keep, getting, keep hopefully winning a few more games. A, a point short of a double-double for him. But did you know he was this good a passer? He had five assists tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean he doesn't he doesn't uh, do stuff he can't do, Pete. Like he makes open, you know, it's a real simple thing that I tell a guy: pass to the open man. Don't don't, don't make it difficult. Like pass it to the open guy, and the closest guys, you know, the open guy is closest to you. That's who the ball should go to. So we we try to simplify things, but I'm really proud of our team. Really tough game, hard fought, and. Uh, Again, everybody pitched in, did a great job. And as always, 48 points. If you give that up, you're going to give yourself a chance yeah. most nights. And it's five in a row now for the kids, though. We've talked about it before the game, but what's been the difference in the defensive buy-in, really, in these five games? Well, as we talked in the pregame, a lot of conversation. You know, a lot of, I don't know if it's conversation, me explaining and hopefully them, them listening. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we tweak some things defensively, so we're trying to keep the ball in front of us a little more. We're whipping some ball screens and instead of trying to fight over everything. Um, the, the guys, you know, just found the rhythm. And, um, you know, no better time to find the rhythm than at the end of February, beginning of March. So, again, I'm proud of our guys. Appreciate the time. We'll see you on Thursday night. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate you it. Uh -huh. And to tell us with win number 400 as the mids get the victory here tonight 64 to, to 48 and we'll get Austin Benini over here in a minute as coach D gets the cheers from the family over on the far side and Austin joins us now and this time of year man you know what it, it's at stake if you lose you don't play anymore that's right um the, what's been the difference for you guys over the last five games it's been masterful and it's looked more like the principles of Navy basketball what's allowed you all to do it I mean, we've just been coming together lately, you know. Um, obviously, we went through a hard stretch, but we brought it together these last few times. Coaches have really been getting to us about doing the little things, rebounding as a unit. You know, we're a little bit undersized, so we all we all got to be gang rebounding all the time, and then just playing for each other, playing for um, playing for the words on our chest, and not not for our not for ourselves has been the big thing. Austin, I talk a little bit. I asked Coach Tachelis, and I know it's a topic of this winning streak, but Aiden Keo's presence inside as a def perimeter defender, mm -hmm. how how much helpful is it to know you got the big guy back there that can at least, if he doesn't block the shot, affect, affect the shot on the right. rim? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it gives you a, it gives you a lot more confidence. You know, you're you're allowed to be a lot more aggressive, take a little take a few more risks here and there, and then um you know he kind of cleans it up for you on the backside. So it's a it's a big help seeing him. Uh, he's come a long way this year. So it's it's been just what we needed these last few games. Is his presence also too enabled you all to turn the rebounding situation around? because you guys were getting out rebounded a ton for about a two month period there tonight you win the board battle 44 35 against a big team and when you get rebounds you get a chance to get out and run a little bit more right. and you guys seem to be thriving right now in the open court oh yeah i mean playing out in the open court makes it so much easier everybody wants to run wants to be a fast team you know um so yeah just having kehoe in there i mean you can't you can't teach 610 you know, 240. So that's that's a big help on the inside. You know, he's a he's a big presence down there. It's hard for other teams to work around him, and he's working his butt off down there. You practice with these guys every day. You all as a collective group. I mean, when you lose eight in a row, there's a fork in the road. 
One takes you down a bad path. The other one takes you down a good path. It's been the key to sticking together through all of this and finding that good path again for this basketball team, now winners of five in a row. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I've said it a couple of times now, you know, lose eight straight, you can, can either tear you apart or bring you together. And, um, you know, the team kind of took some time to ourselves, got together, um, just the players talked about it over a little bit and um, worked through a few things, pitched some things to the coaches. Coach has done a great job um, putting us in positions to win these last few games, and uh, we've been able to execute it. All right, big fella, appreciate the time. We'll see you in Boston Thursday night. Yes, sir, thank you. You got it, Austin Benini with 24 for the mids here tonight as they win it 64-48. to 48.